So today on Practice Strokes, I want to work on a cardinal because during this time of the year and every time of the year, I love cardinals. So I'm going to start out by using um, a little bit of apple red licorice some floating medium. All of these are folk art one stroke products. Um, they're multi-surface. Okay. Oh, I didn't know I'm off of here. There you go. So floating medium, licorice, apple red medium gray, wicker white. They're all folk art multi-surface colors, all right? So they have a sealer in them. They go indoor, outdoor, glass, metal, ceramic. It's awesome. And I'm doing it on paper today. I'm going to move over. I didn't know I'm off. All right, so I'm going to pick up some red. And so this is the guy, all right? So we're going to come right in here. Let me kind of turn it a little bit so you can see. I'm going to bring the apple red. I've drawn it with a pencil so you can trace any kind of cardinal that you see in, on YouTube, Pinterest, whatever, or in a magazine. And um, then you trace it on here or freehand it. Some people don't feel very comfortable freehanding. All right. And then we're going to come here to the back of his head. All right. He, they all have a peak. Um, then we're going to come in here right around this area because it's going to be licorice right in there. And I'm going to brush this off like this. All right. And we're also going to bring it around here pretty strong around where this licorice is going to be on his chest. And we're going to pull that in. Okay. Now, a couple of things that can happen in here. You can have a little bit of gray and white and get some color in here. I can, this one had in the picture that I was looking at, he looked like he had a lot of gray. All right, so if I had gray and licorice kind of across the back. All right, see, it's all in there. So get a little bit of medium because I'm on paper. And I'm going to bring this along here. And his wing will be out here also. So if I just brought a little bit of white in here. Okay, across the back. All right. So that's what you're going to keep doing. But what I want to share with you on here is I could take this little teeny bit on the brush, just a little teeny bit of licorice, and see how I'm going to just tip the tips back here. All right. I can bring a little bit along here. All right. And then I am going to take some licorice around here. So it's going to come down to there. Let's take it around the beak. All right. And then we're going to take and just put a little bit. This is um, a 10 flat that I'm using for this size bird. Depends on what size that you're doing. But the key to um, a cardinal is where the black is on the face. And the female usually is not so red. She's a little rusty. Or there's all kinds of tones. Um, and not as much as we have here. All right, so now I'm going to come right along here. Bring it to the back. I have a whole stroke study where... We do all kinds of birds, just to let you know. All right, now I'm going to take this two, or is this a six? This is a six, uh, a six flat. And I'm going to come in here and bring a little bit of red in here. But then I'll put a little bit of white glow on it. I can put a little bit of the licorice underneath. All right. Now, if I take my two flat, I thought that was a two flat, but that's not quite. That's a six. All right. And then the two flat comes in here. 
ever so little. All right. So I instead of floating medium, I'm going to use a little bit of licorice. Tap the paint so I could side load a little bit of white. Okay, you see that little bit of white? So right in here where the eye would go, I'm going to put a little bit. It's all licorice with a teeny bit of white. And I put just a little bit like that. All right. Now I'm going to clean this brush and I'm going to grab a little bit of white without the licorice. There's water in this. Okay, a little bit more white. And then I'm going to just ever so lightly All right, put a little white glare there. And it was a little bit of white glare under here. All right. So what happens um, on this picture of the bird, he actually, so I don't get pink. I'm going to put some white glare on here. Not mixing it with the red. But it just has a little bit of glow in there. All right. But you can keep bringing red and one color that you can add with red and you can't tell it, it's crazy is a sap green. And it will just look like a burgundy. It won't look like green if you want to get some depth in your cardinal. Okay. All right, so I'm going to chisel edge right in this beak really carefully. All right, so see, and the other thing that happens, I'm going to take one little dot and touch right in the beak. That's a little bit too dark. So if it gets too much, you just come back and lay a little bit because sometimes you touch it too much. Let's get some more licorice. And I just put a little bit more licorice and take it away. All right. So then what's going to happen here is that we're going to take this little bit. This is the female. Or it can be another guy. Because um, this sometimes it's another color. I just thought since they were together, it was a male and a female. All right. So we're going to take and this cardinal is looking at us. So... It gives you a different angle of face. And sometimes this angle is difficult. So I thought this would be a good way to show you that you're going to have a peak where the eye is going to go. And then a little bit going back. All right. Then what happens is right along here. You're going to just bring this up. And back down. This is thick paint that I'm using. Okay. All right. Now, what's going to happen with his beak? Sometimes we've done beaks different colors, just to let you know. Sometimes they're more yellow. Sometimes they're red. So I'm not sure. But this one was red and it's facing us. So I was kind of, if you put a teeny bit of yellow, I can get um, more of an orangey look with the red. Okay, so a little bit of yellow. And we're going to come right back here. That's what I was saying. Sometimes I don't do it red. Sometimes it's like an orange color. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's just a little bit of yellow. Now what's going to happen here is I'm just going to use this six here. I got water in this again. So let's go back and get paint without water. Now same thing is going to happen. This is coming facing towards you. 
Okay, so with the flat of the brush, I'm going to come back here. And right in here, he's got a little, little bit of this cheek in here. And then we're going to come down in here. And then the wing's going to start on both of these. The wing starts right after the head. All right, so right in here, he's getting his chest in here. And I'm going to brush it out. So you can do lots with the body. I just want you to see what we're trying to get here is let's let's take that off let's put some white so you're going to get a little bit of white in here which gives you a glare you got a little teeny bit of white under here all right then you're going to come right in here and a little teeny bit of white on the top edge so this top edge is going to go right here Put some more white right in here. Too much. All right, we come back with red again. Okay, so let's we're gonna take the script liner. I just want you to see there's a couple things that are really easy. One is making the licorice. And then side loading the white to get just a little eye. And his eye is right here or her eye. And then I give it a little bit on the top. But do you see that little bit of an eye? All right, then I can get a teeny little dot. I didn't even touch, okay? And I can just put a little dot in it. There again, I told you, if it gets too much, just go back with black and put black on it, okay? This is more white up on here. And we're gonna make this really flat and we will take the beak right in there. Okay, so now I have too much under here. So it's easy to fix it. Look, we're going to come right under here and put licorice in here. Right here. And then in here. All right, so what I like to do is just bring a little bit of this down. See how that fixed that beak right away? Because the, you should have a V going into the head. Okay, so the same thing can happen over here. All right, so, so the goal is the black's got to look really good. The red's going to, so for instance, in the black, you could just tip these little tips. And I tip the tips of the wings also. All right. And you can bring in, this chest comes out quite a bit, but you can bring in yellows in there to change that color. Remember I just told you I brought some yellow up in here. Okay, and then this one has a lot of white in here, but see if you're not careful that it looks pink and we don't want it to look pink. All right, and wings. I was just playing around wanting you to see I'm going to come in here. Here's the 
here's the tummy. And here's going into the tail. And then look at this. Here's a wing. So it's like chubby sitting in there on a branch. And I have some red tips on there. All right, then we just come in here with some red. So I just want you to look at birds and how they're structured because it makes a difference in the straight tail feathers, the straight wings, you know, along here. All right, a little bit of red in here. And then the red comes down into here. All right. So a little chunky, a little dark because I'm on the paper. If I, I'd keep putting around with this and bring in some yellows and whites and work on it, but we're on paper. It's easier when I'm on canvas. But I just want you to see that it's all about the face. All right. So... Uh, play with it. Make sure you're looking for the right things to make your birds look like the bird you want it to be. All right. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Pack Disturbs.